This yes. And for Prabhupada said, this is precisely the point. Because people are fools and they have no knowledge of higher taste. Therefore, whoever gives them uh, facility for material sense gratification, they will accept. This is, this is not only science, it's politics also. <laughs> this is the way one advances in the material world. If you can give sense gratification, the more sense gratification you can provide for the more people, the more you're the great man, the great scientist, the great politician, the great leader, great authority. Yes, it has actually nothing to do with logic. It's, you know, you ask these common people, finally, why they accept the scientists. It will come down to it because by their mercy I have this television. <laughs> I can sit here for hours watching 33 cable channels. <laughs> We're going to make this the last question. It's almost time to. <laughs> yes. The Brahmana, out of deference for Bhutan Mangala Thakur, the sadhu, he offered his wife. But it says, Shruti Smriti Puranadi, etc. So this seems completely unintelligible. Yes, well, <coughs> you have to understand that. Dhubu Manga Thakura was carried to Krishna consciousness. He was brought to the shelter of lotus, the lotus feet of Lord Krishna by the arrangement of Krishna. So all these things that happened to him. Even the fact that Chintamani, she was a prostitute. She was a prostitute. So why is he Dhubu Manga Thakura? Why is he in his verse, uh, respecting her as his guru. He can also say, this is completely out of... <laughs> <laughs> that was the second part of the question, actually. So these things occurred because of their Krishna's arrangement. You see, uh, Krishna, for his devotees, he makes everything very special. <laughs> I was I was thinking about this just yesterday. How uh, at the time of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. So they are the Lord's pure devotees. They had both had the desire that Krishna consciousness should be spread all over the world. But at that time, it was not possible, you could say. Of course, in a blink of an eye, Krishna could change everything and make it possible. But they had that desire, but it actually was not possible to expand this Krishna consciousness movement all around the world as it is now. Why? Because in those days, there were uh, very, you know, the, the Western culture was still very puffed up and rigid. I mean, when I say it's still puffed up today, but I mean very, 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 very puffed up and rigid and traditional and uh, very materialistic. Not open. Not open. Not very open to ideas, especially coming from India, which was just, you know, at, in those days, what was India? So, bigger nation. Or, or a nation under the, at that time actually under the, the British rule, a colony. But they had that desire. And so things happened in the world to break down this resistance of the Western people to Krishna consciousness. There was First World War, Second World War, and then there was the, the communist domination of great areas of the world after the Second World War. So now one can look at these from some mundane historical point of view and try to understand what they mean. 
But when we look at it from Krishna conscious point of view, we can simply see that this is all Krishna's arrangement for breaking down the resistance of these Western materialistic people to Krishna consciousness. So when Srila Prabhupada came, he came just, as we know, he came just at, it is said, at the right time. <laughs> now Prabhupada was not calculating in that way. He wasn't reading the newspapers. <laughs> oh, now there's a hippie who, oh, I have to go <laughs> Baba <laughs> just wanted to serve his, he was just executing the order of the spiritual master. But Krishna arranged. How, how is, you know, you can think about it, how is it possible that suddenly uh, there was a whole generation of young people in America and Western Europe that was suddenly very, very sympathetic to spiritual ideas coming from India. How is that possible? It's arranged by Krishna. So all of these persons, you see, the, these persons who became hippies, Prabhupada said, Prabhupada indicated, that they are, you know, they all had been mendicants or you know, involved in some type of spiritual endeavor in their previous life. And Krishna just assembled them all together. And it's not that it, all of them became devotees, but in mass, they changed <coughs> society in such a way that Krishna consciousness could just spread anywhere. And this was all because of the strong desire of the devotees of the world. If you want to know Thakur about this, it emphasizes what he actually himself. So Krishna helps his devotees. Similarly, Krishna arranged for Bhilvul Mangal Thakur to regain all that he had lost and actually perfect himself by also the prostitute was actually a devotee and that Brahman and his wife, they were devotees and being impelled by Krishna in the heart, they all said and did just the things to bring Bhilvul Mangal Thakur to his right state of mind. Jai. Shilo Prabhupada ki jai. Shasodra Swami ki jai.